in a key stage three, it's important that we can locate and save files in appropriate ways so that we can carry on working and using the computers effectively. So our learning objective today is to understand how and where to save a file on a computer. When you're working locally, which means you're saving files directly onto the hard disk of the computer you're working on, it's important to save files often. This is because unexpected things could happen which could result in you losing your work. So it's important to make sure you save that work and keep it up to date so that you won't lose any progress that you're making. When you save a file, it's important to save it using a relevant name. You should also save the file in a folder which is relevant to the topic you're working on. Some softwares will have a save and a save as option. If you click on the save option, it will update the file you are currently working on. And if you click on the save as option, it will create a whole other version of that file with all the updates that you have made. Here is an example of some bad file management. You can see there's lots of files that have been saved, but none of them have any meaningful names. So it's really hard to identify what any of those files contain. And here's an example of some good file management. We have some appropriately named folders, which I can use to store some files in for all the subjects that I work on in school. Um, if we look inside the computing folder, we can see that I got some files with some appropriate names, which I can identify really easily.